everybody. Welcome to the show. My name is Robert, a.k.a. Mr. Dipper. And today we are going to talk about internet and internet challenges. Uh, if you watched my, lap epi uh, my last episode, um, I promised you I was going to be doing a tutorial on Ecamm Live, which is the uh, software that I'm using to stream. And I have had nothing but technical challenges. Not with the software. The software is running flawlessly. In fact, uh, I'm actually now using my Nikon D5100. Um, so I have a nice DSLR, so my picture is better. And I'm plugged straight in. I don't even need a capture card. Um, but it turns out my internet speeds are so slow at my house, um, I'm having horrible challenges trying to stream. And so... I figured this all out yesterday and uh, I tried looking at different times of the day and it just nothing is good. And so I ran a speed test on the house and my internet is so slow, it's hard to process emails for Pete's sake, never mind streaming. So that began the process of trying to figure out how to get faster internet speeds. Um, now, my solution is a very simple solution. And for those of you who are having uh, challenges with your internet, whether it's slow or whatever. Um, the first thing that um, I'm going to uh, teach you how to do is do a speed test if you don't know how to do it. All right. So um, let me go to my, my screen over here. Now you can go to a, a website. It's free. It's called speedtest.net. And as you see, this was the speed test that I just ran. So I'm not actually broadcasting live. I'm just going to record this and upload it later. Um, and so this is what it is, right? 17.89 download and 3.04 upload, which is absolutely deplorable. I mean, let's let's see if we can run it again. Let's see. Uh, here we go. We'll hit the go button. Let's see what it is right now. Um, what you basically want to do to figure out how well you're streaming and what you can stream at is you take your upload speed and multiply it times 700. And you really want speeds of at least four to 5,000 megabits, um, 3,500 minimum, right? All right, here we go. There's our download speed, which is 18.84. And uh, there we go. Oh, we're holding steady. We're doing a little better right now. Looks like we're going to be in the fours. Four point four nine. So 4.49 times 700 is 3143. So I can't even stream at 780 with that speed, which is why some of my video quality and some of the videos that I was streaming were so, was so poor. Um, it, it just was horrible. So here's the simple solution. The first thing is contact your internet uh, um, um, provider, okay? I'm in Central Florida, and so I um, am with AT&T Uverse here. And so first thing I did, I went to their website and they offer a 1000 megabits package, which is, oh my God, amazing. So I got on the phone. Of course, this all takes forever. And, uh, um, well, of course it's not available in my area. In fact, the only thing available in my area is what I have. So they're, they're advertising, you know, 400 and 600 and 800 and a thousand, but we can't get it. I can only get what they call 24 megabits, even though I'm not getting it. I'm only getting 18, 18 and a half, 18.84 or whatever it was, right? So then I'm like, great, this just isn't going to work because I want to be streaming every day. So then we continue to do the research, right? So I start calling other companies, Dish and Direct and um, Spectrum is uh, another big provider here. And, um, and so we are going to have to change our internet service provider just to get fast enough speeds to be able to stream and or just stream to YouTube or Facebook Live. Um, and of course, download whether we want to stream something from Netflix or whatever. Um, we've had problems doing that as well. So that's your first thing to do. Check with your internet service provider. Now, if your speeds are good coming into the house uh, or your apartment, wherever you live, um, but you're still having issues, then you're going to need to look at your, your routers. And I don't want to get into all the routers because there are so many of them out there. 
um, that it, it would be hard to pick one for me. Um, but again, YouTube is a great tool. Uh, do a search, look on YouTube, uh, fast, uh, let's see if we can do something here for you guys. We'll pull up YouTube <laughs> since we're going to go to YouTube and let's see here. Um, how to, nope, oh, be good if I put a W on the how, how to get faster internet speeds. All right. And there you go. So pick any of them, right? Um, I think I watched, um, I forget who I watched. I watched a couple of them yesterday. Um, and that's why I was figuring, well, maybe I just need some different equipment. Um, but when I did the speed test and found out how slow it was, equipment isn't going to help me. Um, so I needed to upgrade my service. And unfortunately, my current service provider isn't doing it. So guys, if you are having troubles downloading movies for Netflix or just in general, your speeds are so slow. Just start with your internet service provider. Now, look, many of you guys know this. Maybe this video is is worthless to you guys, but um, I want to be streaming and and, and keeping my uh, content going every day, and it's just been challenging. So, I have a uh, new service being installed tomorrow, and I will have about 400 megabits download and about 50 upload. So I'm going to be able to start streaming again live tomorrow, um, which we will be able to do um, that uh, um, review on Ecamm Live. I like to do it streaming instead of recording because I want you guys to see it in real time. You know, it's great to produce videos and edit them. And I have, of course, all that capability if you've seen some of my other videos. But, you know, I, I want to do this in the live environment for you guys. Um, as I've said in some of my other videos, I'm, I'm a new YouTuber and um, I want to help all the rest of the new YouTubers out there who were all going through the same thing. Or maybe you're an experienced YouTuber, but you're still having the same challenges. So I, I like to show a lot more of the behind the scenes, right? I don't want it to always be polished right? I, I want you to see it in the raw. And that's what streaming allows you to see, right? So we, we have some great software now that we're using Ecamm Live and a nice camera and different things that we're using. I've got the Elgato Stream Deck just to make the production value a little bit better, even though we're streaming. Um, but we like to do it live. So come back to the channel, all right? If you haven't subscribed, if you're seeing this video and you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down there. Uh, become part of the Double Dipper family. Uh, we're going to be bringing you content every day, all kinds of different things, how-tos, reviews. Um, we're going to do that review on Ecamm Live. Um, I put a video up a few days ago uh, with this website uh, uh, software called PageWise. Um, I'll put that uh, link down in the description too. Um, we all really need to have an internet presence these days, especially if you're in some kind of business or uh, if you're a 1099 type person, if you work in the music industry, your technician, whatever it is. And it turns out statistically, um, our website presence is just not very good. Uh, what's great about PageWise is it's the simplest thing out there. It, you can have a professional website up to date, um, uh, um, optimized for every platform, meaning whether it's PC, Mac, um, uh, cell phone, tablet, it's all done for you. You don't have to do any of it. Uh, you can have it up and running in minutes. It's all SE, uh, SEO optimized. Uh, and so you'll get uh, ranked high in the search engines. I mean, it, and it's it's the least expensive of them all as well. So we are actually going to be interviewing the CEO and founder of the company right here on the channel. So anyway, stick around. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Welcome to the family. And of course, as always, be safe.